Lil TJ. Niggas gon' hate, I don't care about them. Niggas gon' hate, I don't care about them. Not at all. No one can stop me, I feel like the greatest Don't say be humble, I patiently waited All of this love and I ain't even made it I gotta play for them niggas that hate it Running some beers for my bros, I'ma make it What's up guys, it's your boy, Moldshifra12 Here, so sweet team up in this bit In the cut, in the flesh, you feel me? Check up, check up! So now, we got a lot of news and info on to NBA 2K19 So you better stay in the video and watch the juiciest part So stay tuned, you feel me? So right here, here is a screenshot of Mike Wang liking my tweet saying, will 2K19 be lit or what? And he liked it based off either a compliment or who knows, 2K19 might be really good, better than 2K18. So on to our first topic, the takeover badge. Everybody knew how hard the grand badge was to get and everyone else had it easy. This year, the takeover badge will be like no other advantage you have ever seen before. Glass cleaners who have takeover mode activated will be able to see where the ball lands as the shooter releases his shot or a player misses a wide open layup. And uh, I think we've seen many of those happen. I just missed a layup. And for the other builds, lockdowns will get better defensive chances, shooters get a higher chance in making a green from a deeper range than before, post scores will hit shots you won't, you, won't, you won't even imagine, and playmakers will make you look like this. The Stephen Curry layup package will be making its way back onto 2K19 and new layup packages as well. Now, Stephen Curry's hands down the best layup package coming from 2K16. You can hit layups at a far, you know, angle where nobody could block you or touch the ball at all. But sometimes we've seen a lot of chances where, you know, layups would miss consistently. So I hope 2K19 fixes or something to do with it and, you know, makes the layups excellent this upcoming year. Ever since playing 2K18 my career, you were stuck on your chairs watching the screen at an accessible rate, watching seconds, minutes, uh, hours, and days of torture of, you know, unskippable cutscenes. Well, now, NBA 2K19 2K19 will have skippable cutscenes at every single, you know, cutscene. So instead of having a 2K17 where you finish the whole cutscene in my career and, you know, you can skip cutscenes onto other players, no matter what, the first player you get a kit skip cutscenes. Finally, 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 no more torture, you know, no more seconds wasted at all. The only way in order to get early access to NBA 2K19 four days earlier is to buy the 20th anniversary edition. Yes, the so-called legend edition, legend gold edition, whatever, but right now it's called the 20th anniversary edition. So you know how before many years since 2K, you know, 15, 16, 17, you could order even the regular edition and you get the game earlier pre by pre-ordering it? No more. You have to buy for the US it's a hundred dollars for us in Canada it's like 130 so it's kind of a ripoff but you know it's taxes you feel me it's taxes now we've seen NBA players across the park with their face scans you know Kyrie KD Tristan Thompson Jason Tatum and Lance Stevenson and other players as well like the goat he will be coming to a park near you and by goat I mean his son LeBron James Jr. Also known as Bronny James. LeBron's face scan will be coming to a park around you. Only on Xbox. So if anyone who has who just stays on PS4 and just says it's better, yeah. Think again. Cause we all know if I give out his name, everyone go use him after, and we all know those YouTubers. The NBA 2K19 Prelude will be coming August the 31st. And before that, NBA 2K Community Day will be held on that same week with YouTubers playing 2K19 early. So you better watch those, you know, those YouTubers like Cash Nasty, Annoying Hunt, Agent, Troiden for some early access and some early footage to 2K19 like Park, My Team, and etc. Oh, and shout out to the Knicks for coming with a $3,000 comeback win against the runner-ups, the Miami Heat Gaming, on their first NBA 2K League, you know, champion. So congratulations to them. Changing clothes on your spot while standing will be coming back. We'll be making its way back into 2K19, baby. Let's go. Nobody ever has to go up those, you know, boring elevators, those time-wasting elevators to go up, walk to your closet. You can't even run or jog to your closet. You have to walk to your closet just to change one thing a pair of glasses shorts you know shoes you feel me 
You know how to upgrade your player it would take a hundred thousand VC from back in 2K15 to you know 16, 17, and it would cost a hundred and ninety thousand just to upgrade your player to 85 overall, which means microtransactions aren't lowering down any soon they are not getting lowered at all so that means save up your pennies in your piggy bank you feel me you're gonna have to save up for that extra vc or who knows vc price has gone down and we just don't know about it or vc is easier to earn and you know my career and park etc y'all could comment in the section below what's better ps4 or xbox because finally xbox is now sponsoring nba 2k19 after their five plus year contract with playstation so now we're gonna get extra exclusive items you feel me on 2k tv they're gonna start using xbox and i know ronnie's sweating because he's been using the ps4 just by streaming so and he owns the xbox at his home too so you know you're gonna see xbox on streams for a while and other stuff like that so there is a screenshot of a mocap studio so the mocap studio is where you get all the animations from 2k you know animated in that studio so right here is a photo and a screenshot you know from Ronnie 2k's Instagram story and it shows the same couch from NBA 2k 17 so what does that mean it might be making its way back into your 2k 19 mic port you feel me it might bring back some of those godly memories you've had with your 2k17 my course those anchor breakers those 1v1s those isolations those exposure videos and you know up to uh, stuff like that so we got photos of people like kareem and shaq standing together you know with uh, after finishing their animations in the studio we got ben simmons dunking and doing you know crazy moves and we got ronnie and red Mita talking to each other in their mocap suits you feel me this is most likely obviously good to go to of my career over the last you know a couple of my careers where they're in it so there's a photo of LeBron looking down at the ground you know with his hands on his hips and whatever just in his Lakers uniform and this is for sure a 2k19 commercial you know with the uh, what do you call those director cut things like cut action whatever those things are so that will be coming pretty shortly maybe around the time the game comes out of course so we've seen my, the My Career trailer by now and there's gonna be a story for sure that takes place in there and I ain't gotta share all the details cause y'all seen it and if you haven't it's on 2K's YouTube so just check it out anyways but anyways in the background of the trailer there's what could have been a hint to Old Town's affiliation coming back bruh and we need him back cause uh we've all seen the neighborhood and uh yeah there's nothing too much to say about it but it's about damn time we get affiliations back in order you feel me it's where Park started you know how everybody asks when is Rec coming back or will mascots come back? Will they? Will they? But they're never talked about on stream and Twitter when you guys ask. But it's because there's a high possibility of them being there. So they just want to keep it on the DL. You feel me? It just to surprise us when we get our hands on the game. And on Ronnie's stream, when he was streaming with Chris, who's by his side, and they were talking about, you know, stuff like that, they weren't allowed to talk about it. And because, you know, they want to surprise us when we play the game you feel me there is going to be a 75% chance of rep coming back especially how road to 99 went and the only reason why 75% is because there are multiple people from the 2k office like Zach Timmerman and Mike Wang oh oh my bad Mike Wong talking about overall and how they impact uh, recently on Twitter you feel me for all you pro fanatics out there there will be a private matchmaking which is which was introduced in the 2k elite finals so let's say you guys are, you know, playing 2K, right? And you guys have beef. You guys squash or you want to squash a beef, right? You would say, let me get my, my group of five and then let me get your group of five or something like that, right? And they'd be like, oh, I bet, bet, bet. Let me get, let, let me get right. Let me get right, right? And they'd be like, you send the password, send the password. So you, you would have a custom password, like a key saying, I don't know, let's say 2K matchup, right? And if they enter that 2K matchup password, 5v5 will verse together and this will count towards rep so that's what everybody was saying uh, when it comes to boosting and and everybody was just concerned about it and you know and Mike Wang and Zach Terman were saying oh we're gonna find a way where there's no boosting at all when it's this 5v5 
So the last topic before I talk about what I want on 2K19 is that 2K will start engaging more fans and starting with uh, Ronnie streaming out of nowhere on Twitch, right? Remember how we streamed nowhere? It's because after what happened on 2K18, right, when there was no engagement at all with the fans, with the 2K D dev team, the support team at all, especially when, you know, their uh, players were getting deleted on the first day of the 18th coming out, you know, I witnessed that and Ronnie was a community dev, right? And didn't want to get into the situation and calm everyone down, tweeting at him left and right. So he left it to the support team and they were struggling so bad. So finally, after a whole month and a half, they gave people a uh, 1 million VC uh, after the headaches, you know, they caused in the first place. But hey, new year, right? <laughs> Now on to what I really want from NBA 2K19 this year, right? And this is only for park players. If you're a pro player or a my career or a my team or my league, this isn't for you, all right? So what I what I want and what everybody needs from the park community is a park tournament. Nobody nobody from the 2K community wants to hold it. You you feel me? And and have to go through that struggle. Although it's nice, right? We want 2K to create it and to give out prizes like you know how Fortnite did summer scrimmage. They give out uh, actual crash prizes and you know a chance to meet the best players of all time You feel me if they do this and if they implement that park tournament into 2k19 Bro, what is Fortnite? I'm never getting on Fortnite. I'm, I might as well even touch Call of Duty. You feel me? If 2K19 is that nice, and right now that they're getting off to a good start, they're engaging with the fans, um, they're listening to the fans. You feel me? Oh yeah, and the new shot meters. New shot meters are coming out. If you guys haven't seen it, it's literally all over Twitter. And if you guys haven't, just I don't know, go find it. But that's really it, guys. That's all the info and everything we know off 2K19 so far. The prelude will come August the 31st, so you guys better watch out for that. And we we're, we're gonna be lit. You feel me? Videos gonna be off again. You know, didn't make no videos because of Fortnite. How Fortnite took over and stuff like that. But it's going it's, it's going down, bro. The grind is going off again. 2K for life. 2K or no grind. Big facts, bro. I like to thank each and every single one of you guys. We're super close uh, to you know 6,000 subscribers. So make sure to hit that follow button. I mean, what? I've been streaming on Twitch way too long. Make sure to hit that sub button. Make sure to hit that like button if you guys want to comment. Comment. You feel me? Make sure to pop to my stream on uh, streams on Twitch. Moses Chevron 12. Link in the bio. Link in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching. You already know what's up, man. Moses Chevron 12 here. Sue. Sweet team up in this bit. Let's get it. I got a girl that compliments my fly. And when it goes down, I know she gon' ride. I finally got somebody I can call my